Today's experiment is called frenzied fleas. Do you guys see a flea anywhere? Up here, Ray, do you see him anywhere else? In the, In the big tank, that's right. So the magnification on this flea is about 40 times the size. Um, so today's experiment is all about figuring out how drugs affect heart rate, okay? And we're gonna use this flea, and the scientific name is Daphnia magna, as a model to test whether drugs modify the heart rate of not only Daphnia, but we can transfer that knowledge to see how it might affect our own heart. What do you think the heart would be? Am I looking for anything particular? You're just looking for something that's beating in a regular rhythm, kind of like our own hearts. That's awesome, perfect. In front of you, you each are gonna take, um, pick one drug. So we have a sleeping aid, all right? And Elena, I'm gonna let you test the effect of the sleeping aid. So what was the total dose you put in your mortar and pestle? 400 milligrams. So you put one tablet, which is 25 milligrams. All right, so the trick is that we have to apply your drug solution with this pipette. So you might have to add a little more water. All right, so Alex, you did right? Yes. Okay. okay. This is gonna die of a caffeine. <laughs> okay. So in order to determine if caffeine modifies the heart rate, do we need a baseline recording of the heart rate? We do. We do. Okay, as a control. Great. So, you guys see where the heart is? Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna set my timer for five seconds and can you guys see too? Okay. And what we're gonna do is the easiest way to count the number of beats is to literally make hash marks on your dry erase board for five seconds. Elena, you ready? I am. All right, go. Up to the microscope. Do you know how to use one of these transfer pipettes? I do. How much time should we allow it to incubate? Mm, a minute. A minute. So you just want one drop and you're going to add it directly over the Daphnia. Try not to touch the slide with your transfer pipette. All right, exactly. So you hit on the whole concept of that dose response relationship. So if we could have added the same dose, maybe we'd get the same effect, right? Had we added maybe a lower dose, maybe that's when we have, would have observed that stimulant effect. Make sense? All right, let's try, Elena, let's try your drug.